It's that Z, too, bro, no, she my flow Yeah, 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 it's that Z Hello everyone, I'm back with another video And in today's video, it's gonna be me and Bugor versus my Zekent and Master Dracona Now before we start this battle, please give this video a thumbs up Also, subscribe on my channel and turn on the notification to not miss an upload or stream from my channel Let's begin Okay, now this battle is quite long, so we're gonna go ahead and do a lot of fast forwarding, so yeah. <laughs> Fasten things up. Okay, map of choice will be Price Ring. Let's see how it goes. Okay, here goes the battle. Now, on the start, at the start of the battle, I uh, opted out for Hawks. Okay, then Barracks. A bit of a lag over there on my part at the beginning and then I did not opt out for the shipyard right away since the containers on sea contains only 150 to 100 contain or resources per container at on the ocean and then did not opt out so not upgraded my uh, HQ to level 2 right away then my rifleman going to grab some containers Let's go ahead and fast forward a bit. Okay, grabbing the containers around. Then added more supply depot. Six supply depot, upgrading to level 3 HQ. Adding a power uh, factory and avia factory. Now, Bugor did opt out for alligators. Okay, <clears throat> excuse me. And now he has like five supply depot and level 3 HQ. One alligator is out. Then, as the scout predicted, this player will go Vertex. Now, this construction yard was meant to build naval platforms over here. A scout on the blue player. Let's see. Six Supply Depot. Upgrading to level 3 HQ. A very fast one. Now, the Kaimans are getting the containers on C. While I added one special vehicle factory for porcupines. Now this blue player is to scout my base. So that of course the vertex once they pop out they will know what to target on my base. Hence that was a successful scout. Okay. Let's go ahead fast forward. This alligator is uh, on standby over there. Good scout revealing that there's already a vertex. I already have my Hawks, though those Vertex are targeting uh, Bugor's base and had my Hawks help him out. Intercept those Vertex. Then, bam, just like that. Now time to retreat. Oh, come on, survive, bro, survive. Nice. They did survive, okay, good. Now he's building up the uh, alligator count over here and there's already a naval platform there. Now of course I added one more airfield, then a power plant of course to increase power. Okay, I told him to charge ahead so of course my hawk count will be increased or you know will be the number will be 8 by then. Okay now here goes. I hid an infantry over here, but it's not hidden at all. Okay, so what a fail. <laughs> okay. Alright, now here goes my Hawks attacking those naval platforms. There were already three of them. A construction yard built over there to expand the radius of those platforms. Or the radius where the platforms can be built. Okay, nice. But due to lag again, nah. Then those uh, hawks or vertex tried to gun down my hawks. Okay. Okay, at least I got a revenge there. Okay. Time to retreat. Hey, retreat, bro, retreat. Okay. <clears throat> Fired one salvo on that vertex. And then the alligators, knowing that there's already three naval platforms over there, already retreated. And now I constructed my own shipyard over here. Oh, and this vertex is chasing after my hawk that was retreating. 
I lost all my hawks. Okay. Building up the porcupine count, this they will act as my anti air. Okay, now those vertex targeted my avia factory to delay my hawk production. And they saw this shipyard over here. Okay. Let's pass forward a bit. The alligators are going to this place to attack the blue player instead. And I'm going to rebuild the avia factory that I lost. Construction yard over here. So that I can build something above the clip to see in advance. Then, my own... Pork, uh, my own alligators oh and those vertex targeted my power plant two power plant that got destroyed over here then those vertex are now going to gun down the, the HQ of Bugor okay lost a lot of vertex in the process though okay not very good control over there of those vertex should have been Attacking here and then going here to avoid the range of those porcupines. Now this is quite a few, oh, quite a bit of a uh, alligators here. Let's see, four, five, nine alligators plus my alligators. So oh, ten alligators. So we had we got like twelve or thirteen alligators over there, and I'm still continuing the production of my alligators. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, attack the blue player, but there's already Vikings present. how this plays out mm -hmm. now I also used the blue naval attack to increase the speed of my alligator so they can get there faster Okay. Then those vertex are now going to rescue or help out the blue player. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and retreat. It's already too late. Okay. Time to retreat, bro. Uh chasing me alligators. Okay, time to retreat, bro. Now, Bugor, on the other hand, will be heading towards here to see if there will be any vertex shenanigans. And then we'll retreat back. Just checked. Uh, he just checked them out. Okay, now the blue player will now have a counter attack on me with Zeus, and I only have porcupines. I'll use my Hawks to defend, of course. Those vertex. I'm going to gun down my hawks. Now Bugor upon seeing that will come to my rescue and also the alligators here took care of the one viking that was already damaged. Okay. Let's see. Now I know for a fact that this airfield will be destroyed and I'm going to reconstruct it over here. Now those vertex just passed by tons of porcupines, okay. But most of my hawks now got has been taken care of. I only got one hawk remaining. Kudos to Bugor though, coming to my aid as soon as possible, as soon as he saw those uh, Zeus. So kudos to him. Now the green player lost a lot of Vertex and the blue player lost a lot of Zeus and uh, one Viking. And I think he will be attacked now and there goes, six Vertex. Okay, I'm gonna have my Hawks help him out of course. Okay, nice. 
Good. Mm -hmm. Nice. Barely survived. Come on, repair it. Repair it. You know, let's see. There's, there should be... Oh, there it is. Okay. Though I know why it did not... You know, why it wasn't repaired as quickly... You know, as quick as possible. Though, because the cost of... You know, the cost of repairing it quickly should be a lot. Since the HP that was left was like... You know, a hairline. So, re repairing it would cost a lot. Now, on the other hand... Since there's like Zeus present in front of my base, I will have my own set of Jaguar and Chameleon since I already got like 6 Hawks in total plus Alligators over here. 3 Alligators to be precise. And I think Bugor forgot that his HQ got destroyed. <laughs> and I also reminded him about it. Okay, now let's gonna go ahead and fast forward. Bugor will now go ahead and attack and I'll have my Hawks destroy this construction yard over here Now due to the lag ah, oh, Okay Okay, just like that my Hawks are gone now notice guys that those vertex passed on to tons of porcupines and lived with more than half HP. Okay, that should not be possible. That's how fast Vertex are. Okay, now since there's only three rocket towers over here, Master Dracona should have built walls at the entrance of the cliff. That would have been better. And those Vertex are now going to gun down my Avia factory yet again. Okay. Now I'll go ahead and take care of this vertex that is here. Okay, nice. And then, successful attack over here, getting rid of all those rocket towers. Since nothing can be built on the passage itself. Going above the cliff, going up and down the cliff. Okay. And I instructed Bugor to move over here, so of course attack the airfield that is exposed. And he has no construction yard. Now let's go ahead and wreck havoc over here. Now the blue player, on the other hand, attacked my base. So it's an exchange or a base trade. Now Bugor focus firing on the uh, construction yard. And my base getting wrecked. Okay, using Naval Strike, of course, to reach out those Zeus, but those Zeus went away or went, yeah, maneuvered away from the shore. And I managed to finish building this, uh, this chameleon over here. Okay. Bit of help from Bugor while he is attacking the green player's base. Now he only has one Jaguar present here and the rest are like porcupines. Okay. Now I'm not doing anything though because I'm saving my resources to reconstruct my base later on. Okay. And one chameleon, one Jaguar, two porcupines won't do a thing versus like tons of Zeus. Okay, and I also switched my gold boost to resources to have as many resources as possible since I already used the uh, blue reconstruction boost earlier because of those vertex destroying my power plants. Okay, now the attack here is proceeding nicely. Bugor killed the HQ of the green player. Okay, come on. Get as many resources as you can. They had my alligators position on where they can attack those Zeus. Now, of course, my alligators 
I mean, alligator here is just one and are outnumbered by those zoos. So I'm gonna go ahead and have it retreat. Do a bit of a micro there. Had my uh, forces remained over here. And the blue player did not destroy my base. But this army up Bugor is laying waste to the green player's base and are going to help him out. Now the replenishment of units from Bugor are fast, very good uh, multitasking over here, kudos to B Bugor. Now I had my uh, remaining army, or a few of my units, scout I had since I plan to use HQ reserve gold to reconstruct my HQ. And here goes, construction yard over here, not finished. Okay, here goes the attack. I already built up my HQ after seeing those uh, herds of Zeus over there. So technically they went to help out the green player. Okay. And now I'm going to position what's left of my army here. Worse to in an attempt to defend my base just in case there might be an attack. Okay. Now Bugor is trying to somehow lay waste to as many buildings as he can. And are now to going to have this unit or army that he has over here rendezvous with this attacking force on the green player's base. And then going to reconstruct my base using gold reconstruction, of course, to speed up the process of upgrade and the building. Let's fast forward a bit. Nice. Getting rid of the buildings. Nice riddance. Oh, and the Zeus are already here. Let's see how those Zeus fare against Jaguars and Chameleons. Okay, who says Zeus can't kill Chameleon? <laughs> okay, if you have that much number of Zeus, or that, number, the, that kind of number of Zeus, well, it won't do a thing. You will have to retreat. <laughs> Just like what you see in this video. Okay. Now, Bugor, on the other hand, upgrading to level 4 HQ and adding gun towers over here to, of course, defend himself versus those tons of Zeus. I, on the other hand, are going to rebuild my base. One Avia factory, of course, and then one vehicle factory. One special vehicle factory because I plan to have a mixture of units. Since this uh, player is a heavy ground user, he doesn't have air units, just Zeus, and it's very tough. Three gun towers over here. Okay, let's fast forward a bit. Now the green player will have time to, of course, rebuild this base. I'm gonna go ahead and put a scout over here, just in case there might be any marching army here. Okay, now Hawks in production, adding second Avia factory. Laying minefields, very good option there by Bugor. Very good. And chameleons, of course. I need to have one more supply depot. That's my income with five supply depot. It's like having seven supply depot with blue boost. Okay. He's preparing for an attack over here. Now let's see how this goes. Uh, there's like two construction yards over here for insurance of building inside the fog. Okay, nice riddance of that power, uh, construction yard. And then... Bam! Just like that, that whole army reduced to smoke and dust. Solid hit. What a solid hit that was. Okay. Now Bugor does have three special vehicle factory and two factories for unit production. I on the other hand have only one of those. 
I'm gonna go ahead and scout the green player adding a construction yard over here since there's already already a uh, a space strike you know, a space station so I would like to spread my buildings as much as possible and then I saw this airfields that are exposed I'm gonna go ahead and take advantage and attack it not giving the green player the vertex that he needs okay attacking the avia factory okay Boo, uh, the blue player destroyed his shipyard and then two cyclones scouting my base okay now wow that's a lot of Zeus okay let's fast forward a bit okay now that's like a lot of Zeus over there okay heading to my base I got like five hawks okay and then five jaguars six jaguar in production and three chameleons here goes the attack over here but there's like a few typhoons okay one typhoon at present okay and I'm gonna go ahead and abuse my hawk since there's like close to no anti-air defense over here here goes the attack so my joint uh, Hawks and Zeus, no, my joint attack and uh, Bugor's attack over here. I killed all the Typhoons there. And then I'm gonna go ahead and wreck havoc with this uh, Zeus over here. Okay, now these Zeus are now gonna go ahead and, you know, like, act as a sacrifice to for the rest of the Zeus to get away. And I also moved up my army over here to help out Bugor. Okay. Now with the with those number of Zeus it's now pretty manageable. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and move here later on. Oh, and the space strike attacked my base. Destroyed some of my uh, supply depot. Okay, let's see my income. 880, 1, 2, 3, 4. I got like 4 supply depot there. And now those vertex by my, my uh, the green player. Cancel. Nah, I was not able to cancel. I repaired my supply depot. Of course, but the other one is not covered by the construction radius. Okay. I'd say that was a good defense. Could have been worse. And then, Bugor will now attack the green player yet again. Let's see how many hawks do I have. I got like five. Oh, those jaguars. Exposed jaguars. Okay, kill that destruction yard over there. I'm gonna go ahead and help Bugor damage that construction yard. Okay, nice. Already killed. Now there's no building inside the fog now. Okay, now killing the HQ would be great. Okay, very good pick off there by Bugor. I, on the other hand, are now going to rebuild my base. I tried to spread it as, you know, as best as I can. As well as my units over here in a defensive position versus those Zeus just in case they marched. Now those vertex are gonna go ahead and pick up the chameleons that are exposed. I think those chameleons that he has is almost out of energy. That's why he is retreating. Okay. Nice. Good replenishment here. Tons of zoo, uh, jaguars. Okay, he has a good or healthy amount of factories to replenish them with. Very nice. I, on the other hand, is now going to... What is this? Sniper Tower. Of course, to scout ahead. We're building a barracks over there. Adding more Avia Factory. And 
and I told him to move over here since the HQ that got destroyed, I had an intuition that it will be built around this place since there's like a construction yard over here. Oh, come on. Turn on the fog. Nice. Oh, and then the blue player is now here. Nice pickoff. Free Zeus. Repaired the rest of my buildings, of course. Another space strike might hit. And another whack. Solid hit. And then those Zeus will have to finish them off. Okay. What a solid hit that was. Solid hit. Okay. <laughs> Devastating hit. Whole army and just... In the blink of an eye, turn to dust. Okay. Now we're gonna go ahead and fast forward a bit. And I decided that I'll be the one to move out to this place. Since I have a, a few army over here. Let's see. There was like a vertex that ran by here and tried to damage my HQ. Mm -hmm. Let's see. I'm gonna go ahead and take care of that. HQ that was uh, built over there. Let's go ahead and fast forward. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and grab myself three Zeus. Not bad. Not too shabby. Okay. A Miss Micro over here having my <laughs> alligators sent to their deaths. Okay. Oh, and then another Space Strike. Uh... Okay, then I'm gonna go ahead and focus fire on this headquarters. Okay, nice. Then I'll attempt to destroy this construction yard. Nah. Okay, now Bugar on the other hand will now go here and attack the green player. But the blue player is uh, Zeus is super. Okay, again, Zeus versus Chameleon Jaguar Fog. Or, yeah, versus Chameleon Jaguar Porcupines. And again, Chameleon Imba? I think not. Not a very good micro there on the Zeus. He should have targeted those exposed Jaguars instead, instead of the Chameleon. Okay, well, that's like Zeus versus Chameleon. Jaguars. Okay, now let's see what I got here. Got like eight Hawks. And then Jaguar Porcupine or Jaguar Chameleon production. Nice. I'll produce a fleet. There goes. Alligators. Okay. Let's see what Booger has. Okay, very nice still. No changes so far. And this green player has a, a good amount of supply depot. Seven supply depot to be precise. So I'd say that's a good one. I'm gonna go ahead and scout. Gonna go ahead and check again and see if the green player is rebuilding. Okay, nice. Picked up one vertex. And again, another space strike on my base. Oh, and then another HQ. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, try and kill that. Oh, come on, kill it. It's just level 1 HQ. Nice. Oh, try and run away. Nah, <laughs> you're all gonna get killed. Okay. And then, there was that. Okay. Most of my uh, base or buildings got destroyed. Now I'm gonna go ahead and try and spread them up, of course, to avoid having an efficient, you know, nuclear, uh, no, like a space bomb, something. Reinforcements there. 
added one more factory by Bugor. Very nice. And I'll also add more alligators over here. Now, of course, guys, I'm going to... I'm trying my best to somehow keep the green player under control by destroying the HQ again and again to avoid, you know, vertex spam or anything like that. And then at the same time, I'm doing alligators, moving them here. Because, of course, the blue player has not scouted my base for like... A, you know like a long time now and the green player okay now let's see producing my base of course reconstructing what I lost I got like seven like seven supply depot and then Bugor will now go ahead and attack this this place again he'll have to retreat as you know like the space weapon you know might be aimed over here so we don't want to get bombed and I was correct he was right there it goes we're both right okay now we're gonna go Google will now attempt to attack this place over here okay that's like a bruised up Zeus over there Fast forward. I'm building the alligator count here, as you can see. Just a few Jaguar Chameleon over here. Just to, you know, like, stall or defend my base on ground. Just in case the blue player attack my base. At least until Bugor get to my base, just in case the blue player will attack. Okay, he is retreating. Okay. Put a supply depot over there since I don't want to get bombed efficiently by that space strike. And again, building the hawk count. Jaguars as well. I have level 4 HQ. Fast forward a bit. Okay. Told Booger to attack this place again. And then a small detachment over here as a diversion okay again alligators building the number okay now there's like tons of rock towers Zeus and construction yard okay fall back he is sandwiched over there so he needs to retreat and there's like an air airfield over here that tells us the tail. Oh, and Thor. Okay. Now you need really need to retreat, bro. Okay. And another uh, squad over here going uh, to this place. And I got like seven alligators over here going eight. I'm going to go ahead and attack again. Okay. This uh, small force over here is very good di diversion. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and kill those rocket towers. Very nice. Okay. Then now go ahead and kill the torrent. I'm gonna go ahead and retreat. Oh, and a miss micro over here. A chameleon sent there. And then over here, the uh, the Jaguar and Chameleon here got bombed by Thor. Okay. Oh, come on. Win, win, win. Nice. Okay. Uh, I thought you will win, but no. <laughs> okay. Now my alligators over here. Let's see how much I got here. How many? Okay, I got like seven. Oh, is that seven? Yeah, seven. Okay, and then I'll have my uh, my remaining hawks attack the naval platform here. Got like three. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and attack and damage them. 
While Bugor, on the other hand, will keep attacking the green player over here. Gonna go ahead and pierce that naval platform defense over there. Now, it's pretty much bruised up already. And my army over here is ready. Small. Small uh, army of jaguar, porcupine, chameleon. Okay, here goes. Okay. Bugor is still trying to be annoying over here. Okay, nice. Pick up there. Okay. Successful attack over here. Now I'm gonna go ahead and dive forward over here. And as you can see, the blue player is attempting desperately to build naval platforms. But I'm not gonna go ahead and give him time to, to have those platforms finish. Thor's again to the mix added okay gonna go ahead and head where there's no rocket towers and as you can see there's like walls of anti-air and rocket towers over there all right and then Bugor on, the, on this side okay cleaned up those uh, Zeus and rocket towers okay very nice while I attack the blue player from this side Okay, trying to damage the HQ, of course. And then there's this space station over there. Okay. Oh, wow, that was a advanced, okay. <laughs> Way advanced uh, chameleon there. Okay, I'm gonna have to retreat. Order my alligators to retreat. And then move over here since this side of the base is vulnerable good thing that the green player did not build naval platforms over there and i'm gonna go ahead and attack this hq myself while bugor destroyed the rest of the buildings over here now i had my alligators go you know like outside the range of those zeus and pick them up one by one okay killing this uh headquarters over here Attacking both players at the same time. Just like that. Okay, kill the HQ so no more building inside the fog. There might be uh, rocket towers here. We no we don't know. Okay. There it goes. Killed the remaining Zeus over there. Nice. Now that was an amazing comeback there from my end. <laughs> okay. My base literally got wiped out. Okay, let's fast forward a bit. There it goes. Now gonna go ahead and help Bugor clean up the rest of the buildings over here. Ah. Oh. That rocket tower, man. So Yimba. Then have my hawks kill the power plants. Bam. Then my detachment over here to kill the rest of the buildings of the blue player on the ground. Bam. Just like that. Okay. Bugor Imba. Yes. Okay. We're gonna go ahead and uh, clean the rest of the green player space now. And my hawks damage those uh oh and a nuclear okay I managed to build a nuclear there okay bam okay that was a bit of a finale there <laughs> all right well again guys that was a tough battle indeed an epic comeback on my end and again guys if you'd like the video please give this video a thumbs up subscribe on my channel and turn on the notification to not miss an upload or stream from my channel thanks for watching have a great day bye